All right, well, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us for the Digital Marketing Tools webinar. Um, Lonnie Lott will be speaking today. So just a little bit before we get going, um, do wanna make sure that you know we are gonna give you a copy of the handout as well as a, a copy of the recording. Um, and then if you have any questions during the webinar, definitely use that chat feature, um, put any of your questions in the chat and we'll get to them as we're able to. Um, and then just a little bit about the SBDC. Um, so we're funded in part by the SBA as well as the state of California. Our, our host is Cal Poly Humboldt. Um, and then um, we provide confidential no cost advising services. So our purpose is really to assist small businesses, um, you know, either start, grow, thrive. Um, we wanna see you succeed. So, um, so we provide the advising services for that. Just a little bit about the SPDC. Um, there are 63 regions in the US um, for SPDCs. Um, our particular one is the NorCal SPDC. Um, so the NorCal network, um, we serve everywhere from Stockton up to the Oregon border, everywhere in between. Um, our particular center, um, Shasta Cascade SPDC, we serve um, Shasta and Trinity counties. Um, so if you're located outside of our area, there are other centers um, that serve um, your area in the United States. A little bit about our local advising team here. Um, these are some of our advisors, lots of different specialties, whether it's marketing like Lonnie, accounting, funding, different things like that. Um, we also have access to um, other advisors within our network. Um, so um, most likely we could have um, someone who can help answer most questions. Um, and then on to um, kind of what we've done in the last couple of years, as you see, you know, helped businesses get loans, um, helps them increase sales, add employees, um, start their business, different things like that. Um, so we're pretty proud of what we've been able to do so far. Um, before we move on, we do have to read a disclaimer um, just to make sure that you know um, we're not um, attorneys or anything like that. So the information provided in this webinar and any supplementary materials provided to registrants are intended for educational and informational purposes only and does not constitute professional financial or legal advice. No registrant should act or fail to act on the basis of any material contained in this webinar without obtaining proper financial, legal, or other professional advice specific to their situation. The Northern California Small Business Development Center and its host, the Cal Poly Humboldt Sponsored Programs Foundation, specifically disclaims any liability, loss, or risk, professional or otherwise, which is incurred as a consequence directly or indirectly of the use and application of any of the information presented in this webinar. All right, and I will hand it over to our presenter, Alani Lott. Thank you so much, Emily. I'm going to turn my mic up just a little bit. Make sure everybody can hear me. Um, yes, my name is Lonnie Lott, and I am the president of LL Consulting. And I've had the pleasure to provide business advising services for Shasta Cascade Small Business Fe Development Center for a number of years. Also, my uh, consulting practice focuses on community development, nonprofit management in downtown, and economic revitalization. So, really, I love everything about communities and businesses that are located within communities or in this day and age online even. Oh, let me see. I'm trying to get, there we go. So today's um, webinar, we're going to, it's an hour. So we're just going to probably be uh, talking about the tip of the iceberg, as we would say, um, because there are so many uh, digital marketing tools and apps, and maybe even industry-specific apps and programs that you may be using or are available to you. So I have kind of looked at how to uh, put together this webinar and go over 25 plus low cost to um, free, no cost, uh, tools that are out there that can maybe assist you in the various areas of your business. 
um, whether it's for social media marketing, maybe it's for market research, maybe we are going to dive a little bit into content uh, management or content uh, creating content for your uh, market, your social media marketing. But understand that I know a little bit about a lot of these things, but not probably enough. I probably know enough about five of these tools to really dive deep into them. I'm going to just provide you with kind of the top three or four that I found that I vetted that I'm going to include in our presentation today. And as Emily said, you will be getting back the PDF of my presentation, which has the links to all of the tools that I'm going to talk about today. I am not going to talk about apps. Many of these tools that I'm talking about that you would use with your desktop also provide you with apps to download to be able to use on your mobile. So with that said, if you have found one that you're using specific to your industry, great. I know that a lot of folks in the health and wellness sector use Mind and Body, which is a scheduling uh, feature, also helps with um, registering for classes in that industry. So I'm not going to talk about anything that's specific to an industry. It's more higher level, as well as I really have not touched on anything in the human resources area, because those are really very particular to for your specific business or your industry. So with that disclaimer, uh, let's just go and uh, spend the next hour and talk about what I found. And here we go. So why do we even want to use and consider digital marketing tools? Well, that's such a silly question these days, because, you know, really prior to the pandemic, and definitely during, and now in the recovery stage, digital marketing, digital doing everything virtual was really the one way that we could continue to um, reach our customers, sell our products and services, network with our colleagues. So digital uh, tools um, became very important and really kind of came to the forefront. Uh, but prior to that, many, many businesses were using digital tools um, or apps specific for their industry or their social media or their uh, e-commerce sites. So really, it, you know, there isn't an area that isn't a benefit or a reason to use a marketing, a digital marketing tool. Um, you know, it helps keep your team engaged helps with file sharing and storage. Uh, we use it quite a bit to share larger uh, documents between uh, you know, the center and advisors. Email marketing, very, very key in today's uh, digital world in terms of reaching out and staying in front of your audience, whether you're a business, an organization, keeping, and, and, and yeah, some, Organizations and businesses might do an overkill with email marketing, but it really is um, a tool that, you know, or a, a program that many, many businesses are using just to continually send out and drop into folks' mailboxes um, information about the business or what uh, products they're selling or what events are coming up, communication. Uh, website is essentials, uh, you know, we talk with our clients that when you're looking at launching a business or you're in business, you know, you really need to have a really well-functioning website as that uh, storefront or as that uh, position in the digital world. People are, you know, you're really trying to get folks to come to your website to then learn more about your business takes action, whether that's signing up for services um, or reaching out and purchasing products or uh, contacting you. Market research, when you're in the process of developing your business plan, if you're a startup or you're doing, uh, you know, your five-year up update of your plan or you're looking at succession planning, uh, we're all about market research and thank goodness for the internet, right? <laughs> I remember the days and it wasn't that long ago. It was in my lifetime and we'd have to go down the library and put up, take out the, you know, the big books or the magazines and do physical market research in terms of finding out what was out there in, in publications or 
white papers, and now we can pull it down. Uh, productivity and the biggest one, of course, in the arena of marketing and using digital marketing platforms is the design, design features that help you with um, your uh, images, your videos, uh, you know, adding a splash to them and or just even creating them. And then finally, the calendar, uh, you know, where you were with your team, with maybe part of them working remotely and part in your uh, business uh, location, the interfacing of the calendar is very important. So those are all the reasons. I'm sure that, you know, there isn't an area, I'm not even talking about human resources or, you know, taking payments or invoicing in this, in this particular uh, webinar. Okay, so let's just dive in here. Uh, file sharing and storage is the first area I'm going to talk about, and I'm sure many of us are using Google Drive as a way to um, upload and store and share files. Um, we have a great webinar um, that is on the SBDC's YouTube channel about how to use the Google Drive. Um, it, you can collaborate doc documents in real time, organize content plans, keep track of content performance and, and data and more. And for uh, me as a consultant, I have clients, um, you know, I have several clients and we're working on different projects. I may be helping one with a grant or I'm helping another one with writing um, their business plan. And we can share those documents. They don't have to be emailed. And if they're large documents, which many are, they can be uploaded into that Google Drive in the cloud, and then you can access it easily, um, make changes to it, update it, share it. Um, and so I like Google Drive. Once you get comfortable with it and understand the difference between your drive and sharing your drive and how to upload a file, and, and then probably the most important part is being aware that if you allow folks to edit it, they can edit it and it'll change. Um, so you kind of want to think about some of those filters that it provides. You have to have a Gmail account, of course, to access any of the Google platforms and tools. Um, I'm just going to, you know, that, and it's easy to get a Gmail, uh, e a Gmail account it doesn't cost you anything, but in all of their tools, you have to access it through there. Trello is another free uh, management tool that makes it easy for you to plan content by dragging tasks and using columns. Um, you can create unlimited project boards with a free account. Um, now, I don't have to too much interface with too many of other um, clients or or a management, you know, I'm, I'm a sole proprietor. Um, so I'm not part of a team where we're trying to work on a project together. Um, so I have not used Trello, but I do know of several uh, businesses that have used it and really uh, like it. And then Dropbox. I know people still use Dropbox. Um, I think that, you know, Google's trying to absorb most of the Google file sharing uh, business that's out there, but Dropbox is still a free option, it, it, two gigabytes. And again, it's a cloud sharing service where documents are safely encrypted, so you don't have to be concerned about your data being stolen. So you might want to talk, think about Dropbox as a file sharing and storage um, okay, so let's shift from that. And now I'm going to go into market research. And, you know, it's interesting. Um, sometimes clients say, well, I don't know how to do market research. What is market research? There's all kinds of forms of market research. And what I'm talking about today is what kind of research may be out there in the digital world versus you going and doing a survey yourself or talking to your customers, you know, face to face or through your maybe through your Facebook. Facebook pages or on your website, you're doing a poll. So we're really talking about market research and how do I find out how my industry is functioning, what are of interest to my customers, so that you can then take all that research and make some educated uh, decisions based on that about the direction you want to grow your business or changes in your business, introducing a new product or service, expanding a different location, 
all of those factors. So the first one in, um, is Data Scrape, and it's a free offers free, and most of these are free at a certain level, and then they all have upgrade options. And this is a free Chrome extension that allows you to download any form of data from a website. It extracts the data out of the HTML web pages and it imports it to your Microsoft Excel spreadsheets. Now, it sounds really simple from here. I'm sure it's much more complicated to that once you get going in there. But, um, you know, for example, if you're looking for contact information from professional profiles or maybe some social media connections to support display campaign, campaigns or outreach, this might be a tool for you. With the uh, free service, you can get 500 page scrapes per month um, and then uh, from there, they have other price ranges. Um, one that I do use for market research that I have found, again, is a Google. It's Think with Google. Not a lot of people use this at a little bit higher level, maybe, than what you need for your own business. But for me, I work with a lot of retailers, so I'm kind of like wanting to see what's the forecast and trends in retail. And often those retailers are the bigger boxes. You know, they're, they're moving the trends faster than um, the smaller uh, smaller businesses can catch up with. So it's a tool to see exactly what your audience is searching for online. It shows you what searches are trending, offers, offers audience insights and information about the products and brands that they're looking in a specific category. So you might want to think about um, some consumer research, some shopping and and purchase behaviors within your industry, and then uh, helps you make some of those kind of decisions. Um, you know, a lot of uh, the type of digital uh, download that we get from these kind of sites is like, oh, you know, you kind of glaze over it and look at it. You don't really like read it like you do like the newspaper or the, <laughs> the New York Times or something, but it is really something that can drop into your email box very easily gives you an opportunity to just kind of look at what are some of the trends. And then with market researchers, often not only about how the trends may be affecting your business, but maybe then there's also information and content that you might want to repackage and use as part of your social media marketing outreach. So again, there's a place where you could, you know, do a do a uh, blog on trends coming in your specific industry and it may be based on the market research you're gathering. Uh, Google Scholar, I just saw, found kind of, I didn't know about this one and I just kind of like fell upon it in the Google, uh, you know, when you go into your Google G, uh, account, you'll see all of the different uh, opportunities that are there. And so this is one place where you can search across disciplines and sources, articles, thesis, books, abstracts, and court opinions. And this is really for academic publishers, professional societies, universities, and other uh, websites. So it's probably, you know, pretty high level if you're in that industry looking for something that is, um, uh, you know, that kind of a source or article. I use Google Alerts, and this is, again, a free service. Um, that's the one thing about Google is so much of it's free, right? Um, you get emails when uh, there's news results for a topic will show up in your in Google search. Um, for example, you can get uh, info about news products or mentions of your name. So for me, for some of my clients, um, they're not for profit organizations. This is on my personal side of my practice. And I will put in there, um, if we're working in a specific area on advocacy um, or like, you know, preservation, um, I'll, I have about 10 Google alerts uh, that I have signed up for, for specific mentions of those. It'll often also, if you're in business and you're um, really reaching out in your public relations and you've sent out press releases, or you have newsworthy, you want to see if you're being mentioned anywhere along the line, this is where you would do that because they'll pop up. And like for me, California preservation, well, everything in California that's mentioned under preservation will pop up, but also the national preservation news. And again, um, not only uh, information about, you know, for you to track about 
for market research, but also for you again to then repackage and share with your customers. And then HubSpot's blog topic generator instantly gives you a week of actionable blog post name ideas. You can drive traffic to your content when um, you're engaging creative titles for everything you write. So a lot of us are blogging. We may be running out of ideas. This might be something you want to look at, um, sign up for, and again, it'll drop into your email with, um, or it'll just be right there on their uh, site. Um, this is a new one that a colleague, uh, one of our business advisors, who's fabulous with uh, uh, SEO, and we were talking about a, 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 we were looking at a problem together, and he says he uses this quite often for his, um, for him, for his clients when he is designing things or creating uh, different topics, and it's called Usability Hub. And it's actually um, free with some limited options, and then you can also upgrade. And he said, basically, um, they have a, over 530,000 people that have signed up to be testers or reviewers. And if you have um, something you want validated, with real users, you put it out there and then the real users will chime in. <laughs> They'll say, yeah, that design of that website makes sense or that uh, the, that um, first impression of your landing page, if you wanted to just see if you're you know, upgrading your landing page for your website or you're creating a new one, you could send it to Usability Hub and they will uh, give you opinions about it. Also, there's um, a level for first click test, how people um, complete a certain task. And then they have a ability to have actually a panel. So you can Put your, uh, your design or whatever your issue is out to this uh, group of folks and they'll give you um, real, time, real time, real users opinions. Also on the flip side, you could be a, a reviewer or a panelist if you wanted to um, become one of those folks that maybe that's just a pet, that's an interest to you and you wanna see what else the people are doing out there and you could review and uh, be one of the panelists. So check that out. It was um, something very new that I didn't even know existed. So especially useful when you're thinking about creating or expanding or redesigning your website or anything digital. SurveyMonkey, I know about. I've used it for years. And I just really, um, I really like the program. Um, it's free with limited features. Um, it starts at about $32 a month. They have always kind of over the years kind of changed a little bit of some of their options with the paid. But it, if you do a lot of surveying or you're going to be doing, um, you know, you want to find out what your uh, customers uh, think about your products and services, or if you're an organization and you're really wanting to dive deep into your strategic approach, or even as a business where you're headed, um, this is, might be a, something you want to consider. What I like about th this type of a program is that you could create the surveys easily. You, they sit there forever as long as you pay for the program, right? Um, you can gather feedback uh, from a web link, email. So you create the email or you create the survey and then you send it out to your audience with a link of an email. And then they in the privacy of their uh, computer can fill it out and all of the results come in and it is pretty um, confidential. And then there you have the ability to create the uh, beautiful presentations, whether it's uh, charts or, you know, um, it, it analyzes all the data so you don't have to do it manually. Back in the day, we'd have all these spreadsheets and we'd be managing it, uh, you know, <laughs> manually. And SurveyMonkey does that all for you. Then switching to keyword search SEO, this is where one of our colleagues is really a pro on it, but these are still very, uh, you always are wanting to know because, you know, search engine optimization and getting those keywords in all of your marketing uh, uh, communication 
um, especially your uh, website and your email marketing and your social media is important so that it can reach audience and have impact, have a return on your investment. So the first one is Google Keyword Planner. Again, a Google uh, tool. It's free, great for beginners, offers basic volume and competition data. It'll show you a range of average monthly searches and then the competition level for the keywords you've entered. Um, there's Mose, I, Mose, I think is how you say it. Um, it's a tool to monitor your site and check keywords, do keywords research or check with your site's domain authority. Um, it, the free version of the tool did allow for up to 10 keyword queries a month, and then they have an upgrade. And then Sim, uh, SimRush, which is kind of like the norm in the uh, search engine optimization world. There is a monthly fee. It's an all-in marketing tool to be able not to only do your keyword research, but to track how your site's doing. Whether you're tracking by keyword positions or analytics or backlinks, all of that stuff that makes keyword and SEO so important. And then one that I just kind of picked up and um, it's legitimate even though it's, it's from the, you know, it has an unusual URL. Uh, Streaming Frog, uh, it's a website crawler that helps you improve on-site SEO by auditing for common SEO issues. Um, so this is for your search engine optimization. If you are wanting to know more about SEO and, you know, keywords and how is your, all of your, your website performing and your email performing, we, you know, you could always work with a business advisor from the SBDC. We have a great one on uh, staff at Shasta Cascade, but most uh, SBDCs have great business advisors that can, that focus and specific in SEL. Okay, analytics and optimization. Um, Hotjar, uh, haven't used it, but it's free, can show you exactly what your visitors are doing via hot maps. Click maps, scroll maps. Um, the, it has options to analyze your funnel and to insert messages and surveys to visitors. So again, it's you know kind of improving the back end and making sure that you know once you get folks coming into your sales funnel that they are continuing the journey. The lead continues to an actual ROI. Uh, Google Analytics, yes, another Google uh, feature, get a complete understanding of your customers across all the devices and platforms. And then Chart Beat, you can unlock the value in your content data, clever and powerful software that grows your audience through insight and action. And what I want to say about all of these tools that I have found is like once you know you get once you click and go to their uh, website, often you you know, you have to accept the cookies or you have to download something um, if you want to continue. But many of them do not have that feature. They give you enough information up front. They have demos. Um, you know, so before you actually want to purchase or upgrade or install, um, you know, think through it, look at it, um, look at some of the referrals, see if you can talk to one of their sales uh, individuals. If you're like me, you like to talk on the phone with them. If not, the chat feature and just get more information. Look at their tutorials, walk through it. If you know of any uh, businesses that are using a specific tool, you know, you can ask some of your colleagues, your peers. And, um, you know, do just a little bit more research than just jumping in and uploading it and then figuring out maybe it's not what you want. Trello, uh, talked a little bit about that already. Um, Slack is one that is very common in the world of productivity. Um, I know my uh, 27 year old, yeah, she's gonna be 27 in two weeks. Huh. Um, she is, works remotely for a company and, you know, Slack is their main way that they uh, connect their work with each other um, and products and support tickets. And so um, I know that it works for a lot of those type of larger businesses that maybe have a team across the state or even across the nation. And Slack is one of the common uh, ones that are used. There may be others out there that you've found are more effective, but 
that's the one I wanted to share for the webinar. Okay, content design. This I do have more more experience with because I do a lot of uh, content design for my clients. Um, Canva is one that's at the top of the list. It uh, does have um, free um, options. It's a web-based design tool. Create unique images for your blog, social media net networks and beyond. Um, they have um, some unique images that you can use from scratch or polish up. I've noticed that more and more now uh, free, the free uh, images are pretty basic and they then want you to you know, pay to play like any of the other social media tools, but do look at Canva, get comfortable with it. I use it quite a bit for my, um, some nonprofits that you know, were low budget and creating some great uh, infographics or things that we use for promoting a specific uh, event. I've used it for my own um, uh, YouTube uh, branded cover photos. You can use it for, you know, just, you'll see it every once in a while as somebody just puts in on a post and just has some text in it and the colored background. So um, Canva is a great tool. And then behind that is Upsplash. This is um, offers over a million free high resolution images. You can give credit to the photographers or not. Um, and a parent uh, is Pixby, which has, you know, a million plus stock images and videos. Again, I'm seeing more and more uh, that they're wanting you to pay to use some of the ones that maybe are more appropriate for you, what you're looking for. But again, a great resource. I'm not giving um, recommendations one over the other. It's just that these are some of the ones that are kind of on the list here for this webinar. And then the noun product, um, which has more than a million icons available for download and you can use them in your Google uh, doc and slides. Um, you have to give credit if you're gonna use any from the noun product project. Again, content design, PicNet, easy to use editing and design toolkit for creating some really stunning visuals. So when you see these visuals coming out and they've just got, you know, they look like, wow, how did they do that? They're probably using one of these uh, design uh, content uh, uh, tools or apps, especially since many of our Instagram users and our Pinterest users are doing a lot on with their mobiles that you will see these kind of tools also have apps that make it easy for you to, um, uh, oh, I don't know why I've got pick monkey there and then pick net. I might've, uh, I might have to check that out before I send the uh, final uh, website here. I might've, there might be a little error right there. I'm, I apologize. I always catch them when I'm doing my webinars. So this is good. Florage, uh, easily one of the highest best video editing phone apps. It allows you to quickly trim a video clip, create subtitles, text, speeds up content and filters, and then ads. It is available both as an IO for iOS users and Android users. Um, Magnisto, Magnistio is an excellent tool again for uh, content goal is making videos for your social media. It's specifically designed for social media platforms. And the company is an official partner of Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So um, again, if you're doing videos and you want a tool to really help uh, uh, edit and make them uh, really stand out, look at that one. And then the Canvas Photo Editor is free with 90 plus effects and settings. You just upload the photo, edit it and save it to your computer. And then Vizlo is another uh, uh, item that has some free limited features and it can help you create those high quality charts, infographics and business visualizations for free in seconds. So if you're like me and I am a consultant or you're doing a presentation and you need to do show the charts or you're working with a company and you want to put all of the uh, pages and pages and pages of resource of uh, research you've done into an infographic. Infographics are becoming much more popular. They're digestible. 
I just saw one for a Western States poll that went out. They, uh, you know, polled the uh, five or six states, and then they made individual um, infographics for each state so that then you could use it to um, push out and promote through, uh, you know, your company's uh, uh, social media and email marketing. These are for videos and images. Moment, I, I always like to put moment here because this is more of a marketplace for photographers and filmmakers. It's a place where you may find some equipment for sale. They have resources. They um, also offer webinars specific for photographers and filmmakers. So check that out if that's your industry or that's your, you know, your, your passion and you're, you're wanting to grow that piece of your business or you are you're starting to venture into there. Uh, Snapseed is free. Again, it's a photo editing application developed by Google to enhance photos and apply digital filters. Lightroom, I know uh, more and more businesses are starting to look at using that. It's from Adobe and it gives you a solution for capturing and editing and sharing and organizing your photos. And then Adobe Spark is an online and mobile graphic design app. Um, so check those out. Okay, now we're going into content curation, right? We're wanting to get content to be able to repackage and use to promote our, you know, either trends or information about our industry or up and coming um, uh, news. So Scoop It, it's free, offers some upgrade options. Um, they say it's an awesome tool for easily finding and sharing unique and relevant content to your social uh, networks, blogs, and more. Uh, Freely is also starts at $6 a month. Choose all of the different blogs, publications, and topics that you're interested in, and the platform will then uh, organize it all um, and feed into you, and you can, will, feed, will go into your feed and you can monitor. Um, Google, I put Google Alerts here so again, um, as I had mentioned previously, it is a great way to then uh, look at content that might be of interest to your customers or for your business. So I wanted to put it in both, both um, categories. So social media management. Now, if you are uh, the type of business that is has maybe you know seven different divisions or you're monitoring you're a marketer and you're monitoring a lot of different businesses or clients uh, social media then you know what I'm talking about how do you manage them all in one place you don't want to keep going to one site to another business site to another client site so tweet deck um, is for managing multiple Twitter accounts you can schedule your tweets and track mentions and hashtags across the dashboard. Hootsuite is one of the ones that usually comes rises to the top of one of the more popular affordable um, managements for social media. Um, you can schedule your messages, engage your audience, and measure RO. ROI from the, you know, the um, return on your investment from the dashboard. So it's not just for one social media platform, but it could be for, um, let's say, Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest and Twitter and all of the other ones that are out there that you may be um, looking at and wanting to see across how they're all performing and what content was working better on, on one um, platform than another, scheduling it so that it doesn't all go out at one time. Buffer is another one, allows you to schedule your social media post across a variety of the networks. And then Meta Business Suite. Um, and of course, Meta Business is the company that now purchased Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and Messenger. So it is a free tool. Um, and it gives you, centralizes all of those messaging uh, tools in one place. So you can start to see um, and schedule and create content that either goes to your, your Facebook page or group, um, Instagram, what's up, and it is um, also your advertising, all of those features that are on those, that's those specific platforms come under the meta business suite. 
And then Creator Suite brings together all those tools again. Um, it's just very close to meta business. It's just a little different um, if, and it helps uh, manage and monetize and measure content across your Facebook pages. Okay, customer service. And when I'm talking about customer service, I'm talking about those digital tools that pop up um, that are, you know, you have a question, you want to connect with our live chat. And this is, if that is the type of business you have and you're looking at uh, venturing into that area or you're already using that that feature and you would just want to see if there's something different out there, um, this would be what you would be wanting to look at. You know, we see them on most of the, you know, uh, most of the telephone, you know, and GoDaddy has them or any of those type of larger businesses. This is a furniture store um, that, you know, is trying to streamline and make it much more customer friendly to address your issue right away before you actually call and talk to a, a live person. So live chat, free trial, and then it has some basic start at $16. It's a passive chat box that lives on your page or your website homepage and let your potential customers reach right out to some of your service reps helping you to effectively answer questions. And then Zendesk is another, uh, provides a full suite of tools that can get your support team up and responding to all your customers' needs. The platform ag aggregates all of your community communication channels into one place. Um, and so to respond to emails, phone calls, and chats. So e-commerce, wanted to touch a little bit on this. Um, we have a great uh, webinar on our YouTube channel by one of our SBDC advisors that talks, it goes in depth about uh, the program Spotify. Um, it's a subscription to a software service that allows you to create a website and use their shopping cart solutions to sell, ship, and manage your products. And then it also interfaces with uh, many of the social media platforms um, so that when you are wanting to uh, use the shop feature on Instagram, the shoppable post, but you've got to drive them to your website, uh, Spotify will integrate with that. Um, I have enough, I know enough to talk about it, but if you want to know a little bit deeper how to get started with it, what are some of the features, you can you know watch this great uh, YouTube um, webinar. Who's Commerce is uh, for uh, another uh, e-commerce tool, and it is customized open source platform built on WordPress, and then Squarespace has some basic uh, commerce ability, starts at 26 a month, is a well-known website builder and has integrated e-commerce capabilities built into all of its business plans. And more and more of the website um, uh, builders or hosts are definitely integrating e-commerce into their offers. So if you're using another platform, whether it's Wixby, Wix or Wibbly, you can see where um, what their options are for e-commerce. Um, email marketing, uh, I just put the two most popular ones here. Uh, Constant Contact um, has a 60-day free trial, then it starts at 20 a month. Both of these uh, two one uh, Constant Contact and MailChimp bearing on how many email addresses you have in your con in your audience or your contacts will then uh, <laughs> that's where the prices start to go up. So um, both of these are a program that offers again social media sharing, free imagery, library, um, Facebook ads integration, e-commerce integration, automation. They just are continuing to add more and more features in them. They, uh, MailChimp does have a free subscription with very limited features. Um, and then the basic again starts at $9.90 a month. And then as you grow your email list and you use this powerful uh, type of programs or tool, um, in your overall digital marketing, then the price will go up. But they both um, offer templates. The thing about these 
type of programs is they don't sit on your hard drives, your desktops. They have, you know, are accessed like your Facebook pages are, and you can have other folks help manage your email marketing by giving them I mean, excuse me, yeah, your email marketing by giving them access to the program. Uh, again, here is a great uh, YouTube you can watch again by one of our advisors. If you want to learn more, this is a organization and we see a lot of organizations using email marketing to send out their newsletters or businesses are using them a lot to send out about current uh, e-commerce uh, discounts or programs. And again, building your email list is important. Um, people will choose whether they want to subscribe or not. If you have a specific industry and maybe your website was built under that, they often have built-in email marketing tools within that site. And that's great too. Okay, so these are just some miscellaneous tools that have popped up throughout my research of doing this webinar a couple of times. I always try to keep it somewhat fresh. And uh, Hemingway Editor app. Uh, app cuts the dead weight from your writing. It highlights wordy sentences, adverbs, passive voice, dull, complicated words. Now, if you do a lot of writing and a lot of blogging or you're a technical writer or you're writing reports, then you might want to consider this. I use this a bit because as a consultant, I write and write and write um, reports for municipalities or for clients. And um, yeah, we write, we're very wordy. So sometimes <laughs> we change, uh, you know, uh, passive voice to active voice. So this was just something that would clean it up. It's not like that new thing that just was be uh, been going around the news. Hey, John, we want to let the doggy out. And uh, like, you would you let the doggy out? And um, you, it doesn't write for you, right? That uh, new system that writes for you. This is, or that new artificial intelligence that's starting to say that they're gonna replacing writing and uh, actual writing. But this monitors and um, fine tunes your documents. Bitly, we know about, most of you just using that. It's a link management uh, platform that lets you shorten the links um, so that when you're including it as a link in your email marketing or in your social media um, marketing or even in your uh, documents, then you don't have the long, long, long stream that often comes like with some of the uh, backlinks. YouTube Music, this is free. Uh, this is uh, something that you might want to consider for adding. I know more and more people who are doing Instagram are adding music. So this is a place where you could look at um, uh, some categories for uh, free music. Sprout Social, I really like. I would suggest you might want to sign up and follow their newsletter. They often uh, have um, updates of specific specs like this one for social media video specs, which I'm sharing with you. And they break down all of the specs for the different social media platforms for videos. So they're really like a informational, all about information for your social media that's going to be shared with you to you know make sure you're on track with uh, your specs or with your images, your videos, a lot of great blogging blogs. Grammarly, Again, we'll edit your content. Um, uh, the application breaks down any spelling issues or grammar issues. And if you're like me, it's been a while since you've been in English. So sometimes these little tools are very helpful because you're like, oh, I didn't know I used there instead of there. <laughs> um, these, are teach these are tools that uh, are designed for creating, marketing, and selling your digital products, whether you're selling educational products, um, online courses, teachable create and sell online courses and coaching. Um, Skillshare has unlimited uh, free classes. It's an online learning community with thousands of classes for creative and curious people. So let's just say you wanna know more about photography or you're just getting into doing more videos for your own social media uh, platforms. You just wanna know what, you know, out there, what is some of the best practices? Fine tune your skill set. 
Then I did want to finish and wrap up and my moment's done. And I see we're uh, coming in to the end. So I wanted to give a chance if, for people to share or if you had questions. And so I just pulled down, did a high level search of a couple sites. And what are the 10 free marketing apps for 2023? And these are them. Buffer, I already talked about. That's one up there on the top. I shared it with the, um, and Hootsuite I shared uh, today as uh, so a desktop in Vito source for visuals, videos, graphic assets, and templates for social media posts and videos. And then Facebook Ads Manager, which now is rolled under MetaSuite Business, is um, what they use, what Facebook uses to really look at your campaigns across Facebook and Instagram. And uh, uh and the app is for you to do it on your phone, right? Ladder allows you to schedule and publish posts on Instagram at your own convenience. I already talked about Canva. They have an app. Grammarly has an app. Rep offers a marketplace where brands and influencers can connect and collaborate. Brands can use tools to share influencers. Paya is a new app that can, uh, combines analytic reports from Google Ads, Google Analytics, and YouTube. And then Over has tons of incredible graphic templates. Now, I don't have links to these because these are apps, um, but you can, you know, Google it and find it or look it up on in your, uh, in your iTunes store or your Android uh, marketplace or whatever they call it. Also on Google, in the Google um, platform, they have a Google marketplace. And in there, they have a lot of the other uh, tools, digital tools that they interface with and partner with. Many of the ones that I've mentioned are in there. So you might want to look in there if you're looking for something specific for your business. And then I wanted to finish up and with an old fashioned book. And this was shared back in the beginning of the pandemic by um, an advisor out of the San Francisco SBDC Center Network. And he said, you know, the key to really digital marketing is writing really good content, copy. And he said this, he found this book, uh, a colleague of his shared it to years ago and he recommends it to all of his clients and I just wanted to share it with you how to write copy that sells the step-by-step -step system for more sales to more customers more often and he says it's just he really rated it great um, and so I just wanted to share it with you and sometimes good old-fashioned books have and he said this is an um, available online it might be now um, in terms of it's as a digital book, right? Which many of us are getting used to. Uh, and I just wanted to share it. So with that, I think I'm at the end of our 25 plus low cost, no cost digital marketing tools, Emily. And are there any questions or does anybody have anything they wanna share that's in the chat? Um, nothing right now, but guys, if you have any questions, definitely go ahead and put them in the chat and we'll go ahead and start answering those. I'm going to go ahead and put a link to our survey in there as well. Um, if you can fill that out for us, it just takes like a couple minutes and it lets us know how we did and how we can improve. So that's always helpful. Um, yeah, and then just uh, how you can contact us. There's our social media handles if you want to check us out. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, and then our YouTube channel, like Lonnie was saying. Um, and then, again, if you're out of the area, you can contact um, your local SBDC. You can find that by typing um, americasspdc.org, find your SBDC. And, okay, looks like we've got some questions coming oh. in now. Okay. All right, so how do you narrow down what tools that you use? There's so <laughs> many. That is such a great question. If I had the answer to that, I could probably, you know, make a million. Um, you know, that is a great question. And um, what I have found is what will work for you? Like, look at your, you know, look at what you're using um, and, and then narrow it down to like, okay, do I wanna focus on improving um, 
how my website is functioning or do I want to uh, look at email marketing and start to uh, maybe fine tune that? What social media platforms are you using regularly? And again, it could be just some goal setting, looking at your analytics. I apologize, Charlie is chiming in, obviously as an opinion on this. And um, so you could bring your question, that question, look at your analytics, see where there's areas that are functioning great, you're really comfortable with, but you maybe wanna really beef up your video. Let's say you're gonna you know, want to do more video or you've just started your YouTube channel and you wanna make sure that the videos that are uploading there, we're editing them right. So you have to kind of look at it like where, what is your direction you wanna take in the next couple months or a year? And what is your bandwidth? And what are you really interested in? Um, and then before you invest, then, you know, kind of looking at it from that higher level. And then, you know, often that kind of discussion is something that we're really good about. Your advisors can sit down and we can walk through and look from a point and kind of say, okay, well, here's what the steps would be. And here are some tools that might help you get there. Or... The other way is just to ask some of your colleagues or your network or um, start just asking some of the folks in your industry. You know, when I started as a consultant and I needed to branch out and do a lot of survey work, I said, how do you guys do this? And they recommended a couple survey sites for me to start with. And then the more you use it, the more comfortable you get into it. And then also none of these are forever, right? If you find the tool is not working, maybe tip your toe in the free um, aspect or look at their tutorials, try the free out, see what it does for you. And then say, hey, I'm really kind of comfortable with this. Is it exactly what I needed? Then upgrade. Or if it's not, then look for a different tool. I hope that helped. Um, and then someone was asking again if their recording and slides will be sent. So yes, we will send those out um, after this um, webinar is over, hopefully by sometime tomorrow, but we'll get that out as soon as we can. And then if you don't see it, you know, definitely let us know. Okay. Well, everyone, thank you so much for uh, allowing me to be part of your day and share my uh, the webinar and some of the experience and tools that I've come across that I think are really valuable. And until um, I think we have several webinars that are coming up this month, right, Emily? We yeah. have. And if you guys haven't signed up already for the SBDC's e-newsletter that uh, Emily sends out, she's always. Uh, listing the upcoming webinars that are not only offered in our network, but across our Northern Cal area. Make sure you do that. And thank you, Emily, so much for hosting today. And I'll see everybody next time. Absolutely. And thank you, Lonnie, for hosting. All right. We'll see everyone later. Okay.